Joining the government in the UK has traditionally been seen as a largely unattainable feat for smaller parties, but Nick Clegg managed it. The leader of the Liberal Democrats banded together with the Conservatives in May 2010 after David Cameron's party did not get an outright majority. As a sweetener, Clegg was offered a longed-for referendum to change the current electoral system, which favours the two-party contest. The current system is known by the horse racing term first past the post. Voters choose one candidate and whoever has the most votes wins, even if there is no absolute majority. There are 650 constituencies throughout the UK and this system has consistently returned large majorities and very stable governments. The current coalition is the first since the Second World War, but it also means smaller parties are marginalised. Despite having 25% of the vote, the Lib Dems only have 10% of the seats in Parliament. Proportional representation thus became their battle cry. Wildest imagination that central London would have a thousand protesters protesting for proportional representation. It's, um, it's, a, topic, it's a topic which traditionally only concerned a small number of academics and constitutional experts. However, the choice is not proportional representation, but alternative vote. This system allows the voter to list their choices in order of preference. If no candidate gets a majority of more than 50%, then the other choices are added, boosting the total until someone does win. The system has been in place in Australia for more than 100 years. However, the campaign for electoral reform has failed to excite voters in the UK, distracted by a series of public holidays and the royal wedding. Polls suggest more than 60% of those who are voting see no reason to change the system.